Yeah. The two core rag deal. How does that work? Coach said it was an unselfishness and being selfless. Is that kind of really the key to this whole thing? It absolutely is. Our whole football team is built on that premise of, uh, you know, Coach Gundy always tells us you don't know, we don't know who's going to get the carries, we don't know who's going to get the catches, and who's going to have all the touchdowns at the end of the game. We just know somebody's going to have them, and while for that person to get them, somebody's, you know, the rest of the ten guys have to block and have to be unselfish. And, uh, you know, me and uh, Mason – understand that and have done a very good job of being there for each other and putting the team first and uh, you know we both have the same goal we want this football team to succeed and uh, so to do that you know we both can't play we both have one of us has to be out there and so for, for that person to have success we have to have each other's back and I guess that's a reason why you started 10-0 and are, are a better team than you were last year when you won seven yes sir what, what's been another key I mean it seems like the workouts were maybe a little tougher. That's kind of what I've gathered from some of some of the other players. That once y'all got, you know, you beat Oklahoma and then you get done with the bowl. But as soon as you hit the winter time around this time last year, everything was just full bore. You know, we beat Oklahoma and then win that bowl game. And you know, no matter the season we had last year, the whole morale of everybody, we were just extremely confident in our football team. And uh, it was just big for us to, to have those two games because going into the winter and spring football, we were very confident and very excited for this season to come up because we knew we had a chance to be very good and uh, catch a lot of people by surprise. And so uh, you know, when that time came, we took advantage of every workout, took advantage of every spring practice, and uh, uh, it showed. Maybe even had a little chip on your shoulder we once did. you saw where you were picked to yes. start the year? And we, we knew we weren't going to be – you know, the number one team. Right. We, right. Knew, we knew we weren't going to have, you know, uh, people looking at us that way. But, you know, we wanted to show people that we were a much better football team than they thought. And uh, so, it looks like you proved it. Yes, sir. What What are your thoughts on Ole Miss defense as a whole? And then how, I mean, what do you have to do? I mean, their secondary's got some guys, that, mm-hmm. you know, big big corners, fast corners, guys like Mike, Hilk, Mike Hilton, 28, very experienced. Mm-hmm. Overall, and then what do you got to do? What do you have to do to win this game against a defense like that? Uh, you know, can't turn the ball over. You have to execute uh, the way the coaches, you know, drop the plays. And uh, you just got to play hard and you got to play fast. Uh, you know, this you know, a lot of these bowl games you're playing new opponents, new faces, and so it's, it's just different being on the field. So you got to just uh, make sure you're playing hard and fast. And... Uh, you, you got to have a high motor, and then you got to play smart. No penalties. Don't turn the ball over. Don't give a because you know Ole Miss is an offense that can score a lot of points too. So yeah, it could be a shootout. Right. So you, you know you you have to uh, just don't give those guys any extra uh, uh, possessions. And uh, I imagine first down is extremely key in this game. First down, yes. You know, all, it, it's 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 crazy. Key, you or they're definitely not throwing longs. Right. You know, you but you look at. You, know, you look at all the, all the football games, and you know each one's different, but the keys to, to winning uh, are virtually the same in almost every game. You turn the ball over, doesn't matter who you're playing. If you get behind the sticks, doesn't matter who you're playing, you're gonna have a hard time. And so it's always, you know, it's, it's always interesting to kind of look at that and try to figure out, you know, what do we need to do differently here? What do we need to do differently there? And you know, at the end of the day, it's. It's take care of the football, no penalties, play smart, play fast, play hard, and execute.